How's it going, guys? My name is TJP, and today we're back here with some more Minecraft. Now, I've already recorded the episode, but then, of course, I lost the footage. Uh, I forgot got it corrupted and erased. So, if you guys play Minecraft, make sure to always make backups. <laughs> make sure to always make backups. We actually had a good episode, but there was a terrible ending to it, so I'm actually kind of glad uh, that we didn't uh, get to see that. But, in today's episode... Uh, we're gonna be recording it and probably just doing around about the same thing. Basically, we're gonna be looking for a saddle, uh, for a horse. As you can see here, we created our farm from last episode, and we have, you know, some plants, some chickens, sheep, cows, and pigs. So, we need to get a horse. So, make sure you guys check out the other videos in the description below. Leave a like, subscribe, not subscribe already, and comment down below some more. Yeah, another thing, too. So, I'm recording this on Friday, right? I recorded an NBA video that you guys won't even, you not even gonna see. And you know what, honestly, that video, I'm actually okay with it getting deleted because it was a pretty crummy video. I'm not even going to cap on that. It was a terrible video. So honestly, it's not the worst thing in the world uh, that it got deleted and then it won't ever be seen again, but yeah. Um, let's cook up this raw beef uh, while we're here. And is there any items that I could put in here that I don't really want? This, this, this. I don't really want the seeds either or the sticks, but I guess we'll just keep them. So before I do anything, I'm going to take a screenshot of my coordinates. Or rather, I'm just going to write them down. Uh, that way, I know how to get back home. Because that was my problem. I didn't know how to get back home. <laughs> so let me do that right now. Alright, so before I do anything, I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> that way, it's going to be daytime. So that'll be awesome. So we do have some food on us, which is nice. I guess the objective today would be to find a village. So I kind of already know where I'm going now, since again, my video got corrupted. Uh, and I deleted everything. Uh, so yeah, I kind of know where exactly I want to go a little bit. So I'm just curious to see what direction I'm heading in. So towards positive Z, x so when i come back i want to head towards negative z negative x okay i mean I, I wrote down my coordinates so i'm fine so there's a specific course that i do want to team so it's right there uh i will just do that after um uh, we could get the saddle um and the thing is though is that despite the fact i know where i'm going i actually know where i'm going in the sense that i know where to get uh a uh, something really really cool however I don't know exactly where I'm going to come back home from or find the saddle. So, um, that's going to be the only thing that I'm going to have trouble with. But, it is what it is. This is what happens when you do things in Minecraft and things don't go your way. So, we're going to craft a crafting table. And I'm just going to get some wood. So, we're going to mine some wood here. That way I have some more planks so I can craft the boat where that thing was before, but I don't know. I don't know if, I'll, if I'm going to actually find it again. There's no guarantee, but um, it is unfortunate because there is there's some good loot in there and I would like to get that back. Um, so if, that, if that's possible, then I'm going to do that. Otherwise, I'm just going to say, screw it, and go somewhere else. Dude, lily pads are so annoying. Like, I want to know whose idea it was to come up with the creation of lily pads. Uh, we need to know. Okay, so where I went wrong, uh, and I'll let you guys know where I went wrong, per se. Um was getting back home i got lost and i found a witch's hut and you know pretty sweet right i found a witch's hut awesome problem was i ran out of health and then i ended up dying i ended up dying and it was actually kind of funny uh unfortunately like i said i don't have the clip uh because like i said the footage got corrupted because my obs crashed uh, before the remix was done 
uh, recording and stuff. So unfortunately, I don't have the footage of me of me dying. But just imagine me dying, and that's what you basically got. And it was pretty embarrassing. So here are the alpacas. Beautiful. Don't you just love alpacas? I I I, I know I do. Some of my favorite animals in the entire game. Also, I don't know why I just did that. That was really dumb. <laughs> I'm like just intentionally killing myself for no reason. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take some of these pigs, take some of these sheep. That way I have some wool in case I need a bed. That way I am secured and prepared for the worst. I should have got another sheep. Oh, there we go. There's another sheep right there. So we're going to get this sheep right here. This guy. Kill him. Beautiful. And I don't remember exactly where I went. But I'm just looking for a savanna biome. If I can find a savanna biome, I'll be happy. Okay, we found a we found a big ass ravine. But I'm not going over here. No, not today at least. That is not the goal of today. The goal of today is to just get a saddle. I thought I was going to make that jump. I was I was so scared. Desert. There we go. Okay. So it's a desert that goes into a savanna. So this is exactly what I'm looking for. I didn't think I had to go that like around that way, but I did. So if I'm if I remember correctly from the from my recording, there should be a uh, a desert temple and a savanna biome over here. Yes. Well, the desert temple might not be directly over here, but rest assured, rest assured, I can tell you right now, I know where it is. See, th so that there is another jungle biome. I, I never run across those when I'm playing Minecraft. Very rarely do I ever run across a jungle biome. Sometimes I do. But I feel like a lot of the times, it's like, yeah, you know, I, I rarely see it. It pops up on occasion. Is it, wait, what is this biome exactly called? Savannah. Okay, it is Savannah. Okay. That's what I figured it was. But you never know. Sometimes, like, it's not called a savanna biome. And then, yeah. You want to always make sure you know the name of your ba your your biomes. Okay, so I think if I keep heading this way, I will eventually run into a desert biome. I don't, I, I think it was over here, right? If I make this turn. Oh, what a, what a pro jump that was. Yeah, this is it. Yep, there it is. That is what I wanted. And I will show you guys why I wanted that after I make a bed and go check this thing out over here. All right, so let's take a look and see what's in here. Okay, so yeah, flint, obsidian, iron, fortune three shovel. I don't need the curse of vanishing and iron ingots. Beautiful. Okay, so now, ooh, I actually could go to the nether. How many blocks of lava are there? One? No, there's only two. Oh, there's only one, I think. But if I had, if I could, I would. So here you go. This is what we wanted, ladies and gentlemen, the desert temple. This is what I was looking for. Wanted to make sure I can get back to this. And I also, another thing I forgot to do uh, in the first recording was get a friggin' thumbnail of me in front of the desert temple. <laughs> so I'm gonna make sure that this time I get a friggin' thumbnail at least. There you go, there's our thumbnail. That's what we needed. That is what, that is the whole reason I'm glad my thing crashed. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, let's, let's just, go down here and get what we need to get. All right, guys, so Silk Touch, Knockback 1, Depth Strider, and Gunpowder. We're gonna take that. Diamond Horse Armor, more Diamond Horse Armor. We need that, we definitely need that. 
Curse of Binding, we don't need that. Well, I'll take the bones. And then, of course, right here is the bad, the baddie daddy. You got three diamonds. We got bones. And we got gold. That's what we need right here, ladies and gentlemen. We need that. We need that. That is what we need. So we're going to take all this stuff, which is beautiful. See, it, it, I kind of feel like I'm cheating. But at the same time, it's like, I can't control the fact that my thing... It's like, I could have published the video, but then it's like, oh, it's corrupt. You know, now, now there's like a hole in the story. So it's like, I'd rather just play on the backup and then just pretend that all of that just never happened. So yeah, we found, we found the desert temple. The really, really good one, at least. And there is another one. Uh, and there's also a village somewhere. That I a couple of villages that I saw, but honestly, I don't care about the village. I only really care about the other desert temple because that has the saddle in it, um, and then the other village really didn't have anything in it, so uh, it just had a bunch of crap that I didn't really care about. So, take the bed, and we're gonna be on our merrily way. So eventually, there will be a crossroads here in the savanna where it'll lead to like another desert. And that's where I'm going to go, um, because that's where I found the desert temple, I believe. I think that's where it was, but I'm not too sure. Yeah, I think it's over here in this direction. So I'm going to head in this direction for a bit. And then I think it was around somewhere around there. So I went up, like I think here. And then if I go around this m mountainous area, it's gonna be like kind of buried, so it's gonna be a little bit hard to see. But it's still relatively obvious that it is a desert temple. So we're gonna see if we can find that right now. So the worst case scenario, um, I mean, I'll look for a little bit. I don't wanna spend too much time on this, but the worst case scenario is I can't find it. And if I can't find it, I'll just head back. Cause quite frankly, the saddle is not as much as three diamonds. So I would rather have three diamonds if it means I have to wait a little bit longer to get the saddle that I really, really want. Okay, this is promising because I remember seeing this. So this looks like the way I came from. Yeah, this is promising. Now we're gonna get this stuff that's here. I believe there's a chest right here. So we're gonna get the obsidian, the gold, the flint and steel, I'd like to take that if you don't mind. I will also take the sharpness four sword. I don't care about the golden boots. Those have vanishing on them, so screw those. <gasps> and here it is. Okay, so we found what we needed to find, which is good. So this is the one that has the desert, uh, the... This is the desert temple that has the sand, not the sand castle, what am I talking about? Has the, whatever it's called, uh, you guys know what I mean, the uh, saddle. So yeah, we're going to get the saddle, then we're going to head back to the base, and we are going to put the saddle on the horse, and then we can go right, we can finally take the horse back home. That is what we're going to do. <laughs> that is what we're going to do. That's what I wanted to do, and... Yeah, that's what we're going to do. That's that's the goal of this episode. We basically are completing it. We just can't die. Please don't die. That's all I want. That's all I want in life is to not die. And for my video to not be corrupted. So I don't have to do this again. <laughs> okay. So let's do that. Oh, I didn't take the TNT. Oh, another diamond, by the way. That's nice. And Depth Strider and a Golden Apple. I will take all that. I forgot that that was there too. When I was exploring. Yes, yeah, so the thing with Java is like the the loot isn't randomized. Uh it'll just stay the same, which is nice. Um what else do we need here? Lily pads, screw those. Gunpowder and bones, we'll take that. And that is what we need right there. The saddle. I don't know why that was like that. 
two gold ingot, four gold ingots, some bone meal, and a blast protection four. That's also really, really good. So we'll take that as well. I don't need the stone swords. We can get rid of that. Some bone. I might want to take the TNT. I, 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 I forgot to take the TNT for the other desert temple, but it's not a big deal. TNT is really easy to craft anyway. I can live without it. But we are going to just take it anyway. Might as well. And let's just build back up and head on home. Alrighty, beautiful. So we got that out of the way. So now I'm friggin' can't get lost here, right? So I'm pretty sure I came from this way. I would like to find my boat, but at the end of the day, if I can't find my boat, it's easy enough to craft the boat in Minecraft. Also, another thing too, I could just head in the directions of the coordinates, and since I kind of know where that other desert temple is, and it's not hidden, uh, as it's, it's pretty obvious where it is, um, I could always just go back to it at a future date and get the TNT. All right, to ensure that I don't die, let's eat some steak. Yeah, I already don't know where I... See, this is where I got lost, because I didn't know. It's so hard to get lost in a friggin' desert biome. But, see, this is the swamp biome that I'm pretty sure that I sailed into, I believe. Yeah, so basically I found a witch's hut, and then, yeah. Witch's hut go bye-bye. It killed me. Okay, so what am I gonna do here? Let's let's just head back in the coordinate direction. So we wanna head towards uh positive Z and negative X. So that would be this way. Oh my god, I almost drowned. I I dude I have to pay attention. I'm not paying attention. Let me get the coordinates off my screen. That way you guys don't need to look at them. But yeah, so essentially if I just stay in like this sort of line, I'll eventually make it back home. So I'm probably just going to do that. I have all the stuff that I need in my inventory, I believe. Yeah, so I mean, that's fine. I mean, if anything, I lose a boat or I can always go back and get it. Like I kind of know where it is. Actually, it might literally be right here. Like somewhere over here. No, it's over the mountain, so it's not that not that big of a deal. But yeah, and then eventually I'll have to go back to that other desert temple and get that other TNT. Um, you know, just because I don't want to risk losing it. So yeah, if I'm not mistaken, the house should just be pretty much get over this, and then I'll basically see it. Well, maybe not basically see it, but. It's, it's somewhere around here. Actually, if I go around this way, I'm pretty sure uh, that's where my boat is. Somewhere around here. So then I can just sail that back home. Yeah, I'm pretty sure my boat is over here, actually. On one of these... Uh, little things. Because I'm pretty sure the world spawn was close to here. There's actually a lot of beehives and flower farts, which I guess makes sense. You know, that, that does seem to make a lot of sense, right? Uh, we only have four raw mutton. And three uncooked pork chops. So I guess we have to eat some raw meat. See, another damn beehive. Like, what is it with all these freaking beehives? Ooh, surface level iron. You know what? Don't mind if I do. That is r staring at me in the face, so... I am going to take that. This is a big vein, too, of iron. This is... Beautiful. And there's also coal. I could mine some coal. 
as well. Get some XP, you know what I'm saying? And you can never go wrong with more coal. We actually are a little bit low on coal, so might as well have some coal. From okay, the rest of that coal I don't feel like getting, so we're good there. And look at that. The Ooh, there's an Enderman. Okay. Where is it? If I see the Enderman, I'm going to try to see if I can get it. I wouldn't mind an easy Eye of Ender, if I can even get it. There's no guarantee that I kill the Enderman and get the Eye of Ender. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. I. It, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Let's just go. Let's just go that route. It's not worth it. I'm actually pretty sure that the witch's hut is literally around here. So if anything, I can always come back to it if I run into it. Cause I'm not gonna I'm not gonna entertain the witch's hut. There's just no need, there's no reason for it for me to do so. So yeah, I'm just gonna try to get back home. Okay, so let's mine this. Okay, so now I'm not exactly sure where I am. Although I know I'm kind of close to home. So I see horses. Uh, I forgot where my coordinates were. Let me double check them. Minus 394, 72, minus 159. So... I have to head. I have to head this way. Okay. Interesting. Man, whoever was the genius that came up with Minecraft coordinates and being able to see them in the game, thank you. The thing with Java, though, is like you have to press the debug menu, whereas I know in, uh,. In bedrock, it just it's just there. I mean, well, no, there's an option to toggle it on and off, but it, it doesn't make sense to not have it on, I feel like. All right, here we are. We're home. Excelente. We are home. I don't need the coordinates now. Beautiful. Oh, so happy. Let's go. So we got what we need to do. So we got all the diamonds. We got everything that was pretty important back which is good. Uh, what is under here? This is interesting. Hmm. It's an interesting little area. Probably doesn't mean much, but... So yeah, as I was saying, we got back home. So what I'm gonna do is, let's put the stuff away. That way, in case I die, it's at least in the chest. Actually, I need to make another chest. So let me do that first. I'm a dummy. I crafted a, another crafting bench instead of a chest, so I wasted four pieces of wood. Okay. I can still open this, and I can do this. Put the gold. Actually, the gold, take that. We have gold ingots somewhere. I don't know where, but, uh, yeah. We're just going to put all this stuff in here for now. Uh, the coal, I'm going to do this. Put that there. Let's smelt some iron. Bone meal. Do we have any bones? I don't think so. So iron ingot, iron nuggets or whatever. 43 gunpowder, we could just do this. Gold nuggets can go there. Now we got the saddle, we have the obsidian. We actually have a lot of obsidian. We have 10 obsidian. So we actually could go to the nether in the next episode. Tempting, tempting, very, very tempting to do so. Uh, that actually might've been the, the next thing that I do was to maybe just go to the nether. It's, and, and I and I have th four diamonds now, so I can make a diamond pickaxe, which is good. Um, and we have diamond horse armor, which is also good. Um, so yeah, we might do that. We might go to the Nether next episode. So let's go get let's go get a horse to tame, and bring him back into the stable area ish. I don't know if it's really a stable, but I'm gonna go with this horse. 
Eventually, I'll tame it. Just keep right clicking, and eventually he'll he'll be nice. Good thing horses are passive mobs in this game. It'd be dangerous. Why can't I tame this? Why is this taking me so long to tame this? Can I just give it the golden apple? Will that tame it? Did I just waste a golden apple? I did. Ah! This t this horse is pit. Uh, this is the horse that I wanted to, by the way, mind you, and it doesn't want to be tamed. Why are you being so goddamn difficult? Hey, finally, finally, you bastard! There we go. Holy cow, that took too long. All right. Well, at least I ended. I, I, okay, it's not too much of a waste since I give. I did give him the golden apple anyway. But and guys, just be mindful. I do have a name tag, so maybe if you guys want to leave down in the comments below what we should name the horse, let me know in the comments down below what we should name our new horse. So um, I think I'm gonna call it here for today's episode. Uh, I think in the next episode I'm planning on maybe going to the Nether. Uh, so. Let's plan on that. Uh, but otherwise, leave a like, subscribe if not subscribed already, comment down below some more ideas, video ideas. But that being said, uh, take care. And I hope that none of my videos from here on out get corrupted. And peace.